guys welcome back to my channel it's queen ray and i'm back with a video today i'm doing some nachos i had leftover nachos from the other day when i made um game day nachos so i said let me do a video for taco tuesday how are you all hope everyone's doing well i already said my prayer so let me get to eat my nachos while they still hot First meal today, so I am hungry. I added some black beans in them. Hope everyone is doing well today. Are y'all having tacos or nachos for Taco Tuesday? I think I'm gonna add some of the sauce on there. style uh chunky salsa in the medium or mal from um uh, aldi y'all like salsa on your nachos i like adding black beans and corn in my nachos These are just add the, the black beans. I didn't add the corn, but I do like corn in it. And on my nachos, I have seasoned ground chicken, queso cheese, the chunky salsa, Sour cream, chopped spinach, fresh jalapenos, fresh onions, and the black beans, that's it. Yeah, they have the onions. No wine right now. Maybe later. <clears throat> Onions make everything taste better. How's the weather in you guys' area today? It's kind of chilly here today. Kind of chilly. Happy Taco Tuesday to y'all. Nachos is good. Tastes even better today than it did the other day when I cooked it. It was a good then, but you know, all the seasons went through the meat now. Really good.
You know, like corn shins. I just came back from the store and I bought two, two Tyson corn shins. To bake in the oven. Have that for dinner. Tomorrow, Lord's will. I like corn shins. I'm going to bake them. Put some bell peppers. Some, um... Some fresh bell pepper on it. Chop up an orange bell pepper, green bell pepper, some yellow onion. Season the bacon in the oven for two hours. It'll be falling off the bone. I was watching Sticks and Charge. He um was eating some corn shins. Looked good. So I'm gonna make that with some. I might make the same thing he had. He had corn shins and green beans. I think I'm gonna do green beans with mass and garlic mashed potatoes. Or I might do corn shin with um Saute zucchini squash and onions. With a baked sweet potato. I'm not sure what you're gonna do yet. But whichever one I do, I might do a video and show you guys. Let me know in the comment how do you cook your corn shins. And do you like them? They went up just like everything else. They used to be like two in the pack for like seven dollars, I think it was. Then they eleven dollars almost. The inflation is real, right, guys? That's why you can't be wasting no food. You just gotta eat it two or three days. So what we do, I cooked this meat on Sunday, today Tuesday, so it was still good. I went about to throw it away, the jalapeno. If y'all don't put fresh jalapenos on your food, and you like spice, try it. The fresh jalapenos are so good. See? Nice heat. I like spicy stuff, so.
and, I, and then some crushed red pepper flakes in my meat too. Jalapenos got my nose ring. My candle. So I'm sewers out there that y'all order any candles from Bath and Body Works. When they hit the bad one candle, get one candle free sale. That was a good deal. Bad one, get one free. And especially if you hit a coupon. So I got four candles. And it was like $40 because I had 20% off. So that was a good deal. Which made each candle like $10 a piece. Well, ten seventy eight a piece. That's a decent deal because to me they ain't worth no more than ten dollars anyway. <clears throat> and not worth more than ten dollars. Or sometimes they'd be a hit or miss. Over the years, it's like the quality of their candles have went down. And the prices has went up. Just like everything else. Some candles you can smell, some of them you can't smell. Some um, like I said, you can smell good and they'll burn properly. And then some um, can't smell and it's a dud. They got to do better. I don't buy them like I used to. Only when it's a good sale or it's like semi-annual sale. We can get it for 75% off or something like that. But other than that, mm -mm. I like their candles, but I wish they would improve them to where it's not so many misses, it's more hits for the candles. Like, you know, where they burn properly and you can smell them, not where you get them and you can't smell them. And I see a lot of people been saying that about their candles like that. I've been reading the comments. On the bob side. So not just me. So if it's not a good sale, I will not buy them. I think $10 is enough to pay for a candle anyway. I won't ever pay full price for one of their candles. $26.95? Uh-uh. Some new candle drop releases though. I saw pink bubble gum and root beer float. Which I wasn't interested in either one of those scents. But I did hear they had pretty good reviews. It just wasn't my thing. Don't let you guys try any of the new candle drop scents. The pink bubble gum on the root beer float. The 
some fresh jalapenos got my mouth hot and enjoy some good nachos or tacos today for taco tuesday and all you do keep god first welcome to the new supporters hey y'all hey to all my old supporters families and friends don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys